So, I want to do something a little more behind the scenes by recording a song sampling exercise I do from time to time. Right now, I have 1,320 albums and EPs on my computer. What I'm going to be doing is taking 10 random numbers between 1 and 1,320, and that'll represent which album I'm going to be taking a song from. I'm also going to be taking 10 random numbers between 1 and 20 and pairing those with the album numbers. That'll represent which track I'm taking from each album, and from there we'll have the 10 songs I have to make something out of. Boom. These are the 10 album numbers I got and these are the 10 track numbers I got. Let's see what nonsense I have to work with today. Starting off with Danger Baby by Palm Poco. Exactly Where We Want To Be by Coin Locker Kid. Boss by Little Sims. Undo by Bjork. Bjork? It's not Bjork. I know that for sure. Yeah. Next up we got What Is This Thing Called Love by Bill Evans. Oh boy. Emptiness Part 2 by Mount Erie. Rerun by Kamasi Washington. Orphic Trench by Hallucinogen. Uh, this track that's in Russian so I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and To The Bottom by Polearm. I'm surprised I didn't get any death metal or black metal tracks. I always do and they're always impossible to work in. <laughs> Alright, let's get these all loaded in and see what we can find. It's actually not as insane as those usually are. <laughs> I know right off the bat, I want to take this drum break that I know exists in this Russian song. May have to rework it a little bit, but I like how that sounds. Next, I'm interested in checking out the two jazz tracks we got here, the Bill Evans and Kamasi Washington. Is, is that first note supposed to be entirely in the right ear? I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm taking that just because it's funny. There's a lot of neat isolated stuff going on here with some bass and then later there's some drums. It's a bit too frantic I think for me right now to figure out exactly what I want to do with it. We'll have to come back to this song later. Rerun does have these nice strings at the beginning which I might be taking and using in some context. Let me just start looking through all of the rest of these now. Listening montage, begin! <laughs> Okay, so first run through the songs. I think I have everything that interests me enough to pick out. We got these vocals, this little bassy thing that I actually might take the high ends going on. Short little percussion that I can use. This riser and like tape stop thing. Nice kick. And I think I might just be taking this main guitar riff from the Mount Erie song. I'm not sure though. Let's start trying to piece some stuff together, yeah? Let's try to make this kick. Pop a little better. Fruity Blood Overdrive, my beloved. I have an idea for what I want to do with this guitar thing. I want to distort this a bunch. I am the default FL Studio plugin master. Not really, I just can't be bothered to download anymore. I'm wondering about making this guitar a lot more blown out. Yeah, something like that. Let me take this part instead, just because I think this sounds a bit better for the initial hit. That sounds kind of goofy. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. Let's take this snare from Danger Baby and try to make this sound a bit more interesting. I like that a lot, actually. What if I took the... Oh, you could take this string section from Rerun, maybe? Permission to cut sample. Permission granted. Affirmative cutting sample initiated. I don't even know this is gonna work at all. Let's extend this a little more. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's a continue my mission. I do like this little, like, sort of vocal chant. We can try messing around with that. Just put, like, a delay on this, I think. I like that. That sounds really cool right there. I think that sounds a lot better just repeating that first bit, actually. The bass just comes through so much better there. I think in general, I just need to switch these two around. I think I want to start looking through this percussion maybe again. Maybe we can find a cool fill that'll lead into that section. 
Oosh, this is tricky. Oh, okay, I think I think we got it. Super sleuth. I actually like that a lot better. It's not too low, but it does have some down pitch to it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have not touched this Bjork song yet. Maybe we just keep this vocal as is. I do want just the vocals here. I don't want this electronic-y thing going on here. Let's try to use Isotope and isolate this. Let's see it. That sounds perfect. Oh my gosh. Maybe give us a little bit of reverb because it sounds a bit too dry. I don't like how short this B is. I might extend this a little bit. I do want to give us a bit more of a spatial quality. Sure, that works. <laughs> what if we brought this back just right here as well? Okay, okay. I'm really liking how this is turning out, honestly. I think this intro bit still needs more going on, and then I want to add just like minor little sprinkles of fairy magic dust. I didn't hear this snare. I'm trying something a little weird here. I really like how that sounds there. I like using this as a way to introduce more of the percussion too. All right, I think I got pretty much the base of everything lined up and I really like how it's coming together. I might just start looking for some small additional stuff to lay in here, but I think we're pretty much good. These aren't meant to be full songs or just sort of ideas. So even just this little 40 second clip is plenty good for me. All right, I need to stop fiddling with really tiny things that don't matter. I'm really glad how this turned out, even though it kind of started off a little wonky, but we got there in the end. Here's what the full thing sounds like. <laughs> 